L'espoir est un plat bien trop vite consommé Et à sauter les repas, je suis habitué Un voleur solitaire et triste à nourrir Un jeu si amer, je ne peux your feet have been bound by what gravity brings to the ground did you Travel on, but there's one day here and the next day gone. Sometimes you bend, sometimes you stand, sometimes you turn your back to the wind. There's a world outside every darkened door where blues won't haunt you anymore. Where the brave are free and love are so. Come ride with me to the distant shore. We won't hesitate to break down the garden gate. There's not much time left today. Come on, Sam. 
sleepy dreams. Life could be a dream If I could take you up in paradise up above If you would tell me I'm the only one that you love Life could be a dream Sweetheart, hello, hello again Shaboom, and oh, boom, we'll meet again, boom Ding-dong, 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 ding-dong Oh, 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 oh,
colors the sky ay mi amor ay mi amor you tell me that it's red ay mi amor ay mi amor where should i put my shoes ay mi amor ay mi amor you say put them on your head ay mi amor ay mi amor you make me un poco loco un poquititito loco the way you keep me guessing i'm nodding and i'm guessing thou count it as a blessing that i'm only un poco loco you make me it is just un poco crazy the sense that you're not making the liberties you're taking leaves my gut is not shaking you are just un poco loco
Hello, everyone, and welcome to the biannual Project Runway Fashion Show. We're your hosts, Eddie Chambers. SG, want to hear something crazy? Yes, I really do. Well, uh, is, is your mic on? No, no, actually, it's not. So that's that's crazy. Um, you want to hear something even crazier, Sarah Grace? Sure, Eddie. Try your mic now. Oh, swing and a miss. All right. So, uh, as I was saying, uh, yeah, right there in the script, there's that joke where the mic doesn't work. That one? Yeah, that one. Yeah, yeah. Okay, roll with it. Okay. So, um, I just want to let you guys know that much like this mic, my car also wasn't working this morning. I put the key in the ignition. I turn it on. Bro, how am I getting to school? How am I going to MC this fashion show? How did I get here? My mom. That's how. So shout out to my mom. Shout out to moms around the world. Can I get a round of applause for moms, please? Thank you. Thank you. All right. Oh, okay. Um, that was that was pretty wholesome, Eddie. And you know, your story about your car breaking down reminds me of another story. You know that the movie Cars, the Pixar movie, where the car breaks down. You know that one? Yes, yes, I do. That was a that was a very brave statement to make. I I wonder what all these cryptic jokes have to do with. <laughs> well, before I tell you about that cryptic joke. Uh, the fashion show this year required a lot of work. If you couldn't tell by that massive house, by uh, just everything that's you know been made, the production quality, everything. And there's one person in particular that we really wanted to give a thank you to. So, uh, Sarah Grace? So we wanted to give a special thank you to Whitney Waitsman. So Whitney, if you'll come on out here. We have some flowers for you. Thank you for putting all of this on. A round of applause for Whitney, everybody. Take your bow. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks, Whitney. So uh, now, audience, I'm sure you're wondering what the theme is. Can I get a drum roll, please? The theme is Pixar. I, I got, who would have guessed it? Who would have guessed it? I don't know. I don't know. So, uh, you guys see those four chairs right there? Sarah Grace, you see them? Yeah, Eddie, I see those four chairs. Yeah, those are the judges' chairs. We have four lovely FHS teachers with what I personally have deemed the best fashion sense at Fayetteville High School. Uh, first to the stage, can we have Miss Williamson? Her favorite Pixar movie is The Incredibles, and her favorite character is Miss Incredible because she's an incredible teacher. Yeah, that's right. Our next judge is swimming, swimming, swimming her way to the stage with her favorite Disney Pixar film as Finding Nemo. Mrs. Trout is our next judge. Wow, and next can we have Mr. Cooper Rescue. His favorite movie is Toy Story and his favorite character is Dory. And last but certainly not least, rev up your engines for Miss Childers, whose favorite Pixar movie is Cars, and her favorite Pixar character is Doc Hudson from Cars. All right, now that we have our judges in position, I think it's time we see some people strut their stuff. So models, if you're ready, the runway is yours. Up and away, am I right, ladies and gentlemen? 
All right, guys, you see that shoe right there? Have you guys seen Wally? Yeah, yeah, that's where that's from. It's, it's authentic. Yeah, this look sure is out of this world. No way. Is that Lightning McQueen? I, I can't. Ka-chow. Wow. From Toy Story? You can tell by the cane. The cane really gets it. It's, it's a finishing touch. Accessorizing, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my. Is that Sully? Dude. This look is a little scary. <laughs> Boom. is better than Paradise Falls itself, ladies and gentlemen. That's a lot of balloons. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Is it even fair? Gucci Gabe showing us his stuff. Look at those shorts. Look at the fit. Dang. He usually rocks a designer, but this one is truly one of a kind, ladies and gentlemen. What? No, not to the crowd. Not to the crowd. And he's kissing us goodbye. We'll see you around, Gucci Gabe. Another Coco-inspired fit. And I think she took floral pattern to a whole new level on this one. This look is driving me un poco loco. <laughs> Red one. Let me introduce you to my party people in the club. I'm loose, loose, and everybody knows I get off the train. Uh oh. I'm like Inception. I play with your brain, so I don't sleep or snooze. I don't play no games, so don't, don't, don't get it confused. No, not in the truck. Pump it up and back it up like a Tonka truck. If you go hard, you gotta get on the floor. If you're a party freak, step on the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, have you ever seen quite a duo? This Marvin and Dory look is truly beautiful. A Nemo and Dory inspired fit for sure. We love to see it. We love to see it. Oh, a groupie from Cars? Oh, man. Eddie, I think this look is fiery than your hair. <laughs> yeah, I... And speaking of hair, even without the red hair, you can tell this one is 100% brave inspired. Dang. Uh oh, and closing things out, the, the Coco fit. Oh, where should I put my Coco flair on that, too? You say, put them on your head. They are just owning that stage, and they're doing a dance? That's crazy. SG, I've got a question for you. 
What's your favorite Pixar film and your favorite Pixar character? Thank you for asking, Eddie. My favorite Pixar film is, is definitely WALL-E. Um, it's pretty depressing, pretty good. Um, and my favorite Pixar character, gotta come, come in clutch with Doug from, from Up. He's a sweetheart, you know? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Uh, thanks for asking about my favorite Pixar movie and character, by the way. Uh, I'm just gonna let you guys know that Cars is my favorite, and uh, my favorite character is Sully from Monsters, Inc. Anyway, those models can really move, so I, I want to see them one more time. Can we get all the models back out here for one last look, please? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Questions. So if we can have models and their groups one through five to the stage, please. Rescue here. Just want to do a shout out to this year's class. This is truly the best project runway we have ever judged because of the costumes are incredible this year. If you're new to this uh, awesome project that you're witnessing today, just to let you know, um, fifth hour in the morning we had a pre judging, so we got to meet, talk to the creators and models individually this morning and got to talk more intensive about their materials, inspiration, and such. And so we're going to kind of highlight and ask some questions that we found were really cool answers so you can have a little insight into our judging process. And we'll start with group one, if you could step forward. Group one, could you tell us what materials you used and why? Hello. Hi. We use balloons, a lot of paper mache, um, mosh posh, cotton balls, duct tape for emergencies, trash bags, spray paint, ribbons, a lot. And, uh, and what did you use for your makeup? Our makeup, we actually put acrylic paint on it. Very nice, thank you. Right. Group two, can you step forward, please? Let's give group one a hand. Group two. Can, can you tell us your inspiration and materials you used? They're based off of the movie Coco. And um, the story behind it is, um, it's about the circle of life and the humble and inevitable acceptance of mortality. We use a lot of tissue paper for um, authentic Mexican banners and press and seal to give a good form fit and pipe cleaners and wires to make like a little skeleton underneath so it has a lot of shape. All right, 
Group three, could you tell us what was the hardest part about making your outfit? Um, <laughs> I would say the hardest part was probably getting uh, the neatness down. Um, what materials did you use for that layering and pattern? Um, we used coffee filters, um, napkins, gentlemen, gentlemen, and trash bags. Talk to us about how your your outfit relates to the Cars movie and um, how it represents the theme. Well, we went with the colors of the car, McQueen, and well, we we like put the colors on the outfit so it can match it. We use the side for the bracelet as like the kachow you know, for it to pop out. Thank you. All right, group five, step forward. All right, what was the hardest part about making your outfit? Uh, probably the cane because it was hard to get the foil. Or it was made out of foil and paper. Okay, and those. what other materials did you use? paper and foil on the cane. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. All right. If we can have all of you lovely folk exit the stage, please. You can head on out this way. And next, we're going to need models and their groups for 6 through 10. Mr. DJ, and we will, we will shine you. I shake it like Jello, make the boys say hello, because they know I'm rocking the beat. I know you heard about a lot of great MCs, but they ain't got nothing on me. Because I'm 5 for 2, I want to dance with you, and I'm sophisticated fun. I eat filling me on, and I'm nice and young. Best believe I'm number one. Test one, two. All right, we're going to start with group number six. If you could step forward, please, with your awesome Monsters, Inc. inspiration, can you please tell us what materials did you use? We used duct tape, bubble wrap, and feather. Wonderful. And if you were going to sell this outfit, what store would you sell it in? We would most likely sell it in Forever 21, probably. Awesome. Thank you so much. Okay, group seven, could you step forward? Um, could you tell us about how many balloons you would estimate you Yo, used in this outfit? We used over 700 balloons. Wow. Uh, and how did you attach those? We sewed, hand sewed them all. Wow, that's impressive. Uh, what was the inspiration behind your outfit? Our inspiration was up. How's it going? The movie up. Got it. <laughs> I got just what you need. Brand new Chris Brown, T Pain. You heard it here first. Happy Boy Radio. We love you. materials in your costume. Talk to us about your inspiration and how the various materials relate to that. Well, we got our inspiration from Kevin from the movie Up. We used a lot of feathers and a whole bunch of different colors because Kevin's a bird. The audience may not be able to see what some of those materials are. Can you describe some of the things on your, on your vest? Okay, so we have crayons up here and feathers around the collar. And on the pants, we have paint and string for the balloons. And we have feathers on the sleeves. 
All right, thank you. Group nine. Er, group nine, tell us about the materials that you used. So, we the top is newspaper, the bottom is coffee filters. If you move this, we got loofahs here, some fake flowers here, and hand painted coffee filter flowers right there. All right, and can you talk to us about inspiration behind your outfit? So our inspiration was um, the, fest the festival of Dia de los Muertos, and we really wanted to incorporate what, um, what it means to be in the Mexican culture and everything. So we got a lot of inspiration from that and from all of the vibrant colors that you see during this festival. And yeah. All right, thank you. All right, and our group 10, <clears throat> can you tell us your inspiration and materials used? Um, <laughs> we used a bunch of paper plates and cardboard. And, oh, and we um, mixed Brave and Buzz Lightyear together, try to make it to one. Very nice, thank you so much. All right, if you guys want to exit for me, can we get our last set of models and their groups to the stage, 11 through 14? Group 11, would you step forward, please? Yeah. Wow. Crowd favorite. Okay, could you tell us um, about the materials you used, but also about the most difficult part of this process? So we used the lid of a lot of orange juice cups, and then we also used bubble wrap and duct tape and newspaper. And the most difficult part was sewing the pants, which are I sewed out of newspaper, and there's a zipper there. It's a fly. That's amazing. <laughs> Group 12. We know that you carefully constructed your garment uh, to represent various things from the movie Cars. Could you tell us specifically about how you pick the layers and what each layer represents? Yes, so for the tutu, we did the bright colors, and underneath is black for, like, the tires from Lightning McQueen. And then we have a bunch of newspaper and duct tape for the top to especially, like, keep it sturdy and everything so, like, it doesn't fall. And then the flowiness of the cape. Thank you. All right, group 13. All right, could you talk to us about your skirt? Let's start with that. So we used tea bags, and we got this idea. We like searched up like usable materials, and we were doing Merida, so we know she had a dress, and we saw tea bags, and we thought that would be a really good idea. Okay. What about the top? So our top is made out of tablecloth, and we like hemmed it together with like glue, and then we like put bottle caps and rope, and then some tissue paper, because that's what it looks like on her in the movie. All right. And what's uh, your favorite part about the outfit? My favorite part about the outfit was the tea bags, even though it was a little like complicated to do and a little hard. Um, we got it together, <laughs> and it looks really good, I think. Thank you so much. And our final group, 14, with their Coco inspiration, tell us about what was... Can you tell us what was difficult about constructing your two costumes? Um, we made this part like the skull and the guitar out of candy. Nice. So That's that was the most difficult part. Very awesome. Thank you so much. Okay.
turn up green banana. Put down in Jamaica, we give it to your ad like a sauna. Well, I'm on the way this time. Cool, I want to be keeping you warm. I got the right temperature. All righty, guys. So now we're going to have a little intermission while the judges make their final deliberation. Uh, so I'm going to need a... Oh, yeah. Models, you may exit. And their groups, yes. Okay, awesome. So... We've got a little game set up for you guys. I have compiled a list of some of the greatest athletes to ever play a sport of any kind together. And uh, so I'm going to need Zach Finn, Brooks Flanagan, Jordan Sheely, Grace Litzinger, and Mary Margaret to come down to the stage, please. Along with that, I'm going to need some of my lovely bouncers. Oh, okay. Actually, uh, Mary Margaret couldn't make it. Lauren Sanders, come on down. Okay. So we've got an awesome game set up for you guys. And... Uh, if you guys have ever played the classic, timeless classic game, Musical Chairs, uh, this is a little spin on that. We're going to have some music playing, we're going to have some blindfolds on, and we're going to have some five-gallon buckets laid around on our lovely stage. Our bouncers are here to make sure that nobody falls off the stage, nobody runs into our up house, nobody walks through the Monsters, Inc. door, ends up somewhere they don't want to be. All right, so the goal, blindfolded, sit down on a chair. That's it. That's what we've got. We're going to let our, our contestants get their bandanas on, and things are going to get heated. Looks like uh, a lot of people cheering for our King Jordan. All right. Contestants, can you give me a thumbs up when you're ready? A thumbs up when you're ready. You've got a couple of thumbs. Gu guys, I know that you can hear me. I know you can't, there we go, okay, cool. We're doing some some tests here to see if they can see. And, uh, all right, guys. And uh, can we turn some music up? Can we turn some music up? The musical chairs is about to begin. All righty. We've got some gallon buckets laid around. I'm banging one right here, I'm banging one right here. I'm banging one right here. Jordan is close. He's incredibly close. Our, our contestants seem to be struggling. It can't be that hard. Brooks has Brooks is found a bucket, and Brooks, the first one to sit down, and Zach Finn. Oh, th there's a scramble. Oh, my gosh. Zach Finn buys a seat. That's crazy. There's one bucket left. There's one bucket left. Oh, who's going to get it? Oh, it's, it's, uh, it's right there. It's just sitting there. It's, it's waiting. And Jordan Sheely going to take that one home. Wow. All righty. Thank you guys so much for, for competing with us. We've got three winners. So uh, thank you guys. Shout outs. Alright. Brooks taking his sweet time, as usual. Alrighty, so okay, so now we're is on to the elimination stage of our fashion show. So, can we please have groups one through seven? I have the groups one through seven, please, to come up. Thank you. Oh, and your group members, of course. Can we get the music down a little? So 
So if I call your group number, will you stand forward for me? Group one. Group three. Group four. Group five. And group six. I'm sorry, guys, but you have been eliminated. If you'd exit the stage for me. All right. All right. The remaining groups, remaining groups, could you go backstage and wait for, uh, wait for a couple minutes? We'll call you guys back out here, okay? Awesome. Can I have groups eight through fourteen to come up to the stage, please? Eight through fourteen and your groups. Alrighty, can I have group 10 to step forward, please? Group 10, I'm sorry, you've been eliminated. Alrighty, can I have the remaining groups that are, have not been eliminated back onto the stage? You guys can stay. Miss Reed and her class. It's the Class Choice Award. So if you guys will give me a drum roll. And your class choice is group number 13. Let's give a big round of applause for group number 13. Next up, the MCs have done some deliberating as well, and we, as the MCs, have decided that the MC Choice Award is going to go to group number five. So congratulations, group number five. You guys get this awesome blow up. Where we go. Oh, wait, where'd Abby go? Where? Okay, uh, I guess group five isn't present to receive their, oh, there she is, Abby Bauer, congratulations. Awesome. All right, so our next award is for best male walker. So drum roll please. Drum roll, please. Group number eight, Gucci Gabe. All righty. And as one would expect, the best female walkers are next award. So can I get a drum roll, please? And group number 14 is going to take home the best female walker award. Congratulations. All right. Our next award is for best use of materials. Can I get a drum roll, please? And your winner is group number eight. All righty. Following is the Judges' Choice Award. So can I get a drum roll, please? Group number 12. Congratulations. All right. Our next category is 
fourth place. Can I get a drum roll, please? And your fourth place winner is group number nine. Congratulations. All right, sound crew, can you give me another drum roll, please, for third place, group number two. All right, and up next is our second place winner. Can I get yet another drum roll? And your second place winner is group number 13. Congratulations.